Thanks for coming on with me today, Sam. I'm really pumped to talk a little bit about Telerik UI, how to get started, how not to flop about like a Magikarp on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. I'm... Today, I am going to pick your brain about getting started with Telerik UI because I have a feeling it's different than <laughs> Kendo UI because I just like import and I install and then I'm like, and then yes, there's warnings about our license, blah, but I feel like Nugget Nougat is going to be a little bit different and spicier, maybe harder. No, it's actually, I think, easier. You folks do it a little bit really? more harder. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But, uh, you know, you know, thanks for having me over at yet another JS Carl. How long have ah. you been doing this? Like two years now? <laughs> I don't know. I think yeah. last year sometime I started it, but I have no idea. You, Time you're, not a, you're not a beginner. You're like an expert .NET developer. Uh, okay, but I found out through all my .NETing and my adventures because I dot .NETing. My dot .NETing. <laughs> I went to um, NDC London and I'm going to Boston next week. And I found out through, and then I went to one other one in Poland, was it? Were you there, mm -hmm. Sam? Mm, I don't think so. Just but that, I've been like, to other, other two a lot. When I bring up JavaScript at these conferences, I get a lot of physical reactions. Like, they'll back away from me. No. <laughs> and, and so I'm just like, oh, okay. So don't mention JavaScript is, you know, no, the no, rule no, number no. one of .NET Club. <laughs> And then no, rule, no, no, rule number two no. is like I put my chips in this Maui ship. And yeah, everyone's yeah. like, I get this vibe of like, no, no, Maui is too new for me. And I'm like, it's been out of preview for months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's all good. A, a lot of .NET shops and devs use JavaScript. We might not always want to acknowledge that how much we depend on JavaScript. You don't, you don't want to admit it. It's like a hush hush. No, we don't want to admit it. Uh, and yeah, and, and again, if you have spent a long time in the .NET ecosystem, maybe you are jaded on a few things, but um, you know, you, you got to be excited about the promise of new and exciting things. New and exciting. So um, I wanted to make an MVC app real quick and then just like get a button, like a Telerik UI button on the screen and like make it do something. Like, do you think that's feasible? Can I? Yeah, yeah but I, I see the, um, you named the show Getting Started with for MVC apps. It's not just MVC. I mean, what we have is true for every type of, you know. Is it? App. Yeah, it's going to be the same flow? Like, it's the exact same flow. Um, so before we start, though, so what Alyssa is asking about is, you know, how do we get started with a UI library like Telerik or, or Kendi UI? Mm -hmm. Here's my one minute quick spiel. Okay. Ooh, so, I love spiels. We, we have a variety of software uh, in the world. We, you know, it runs the business, you know, war, runs the world, runs your businesses. Um, commercial software, uh, especially in our spaces, gets a little bit of a bad rap sometimes. Like we expect everything to be free and open source, which just cannot be. You know, I mean, engineering, you know, costs money. Uh, we have to feed our kids. So is that the rap that I thought .NET people are opposite of React .NET people? people. <laughs> .NET people are way more open to it. Uh, okay. JavaScript and React and Angular people are more, uh, you know, a little bit more close-minded to it. But you know. Not everything can be open source. That's my, you know, one, one, uh, you know, spiel. We we do a plenty of work in the open source thing, but uh, real engineering, real well, um, you know, uh, built products cost money, and it's meant for productivity. So, oh, yeah. as much as we would love to, we can't, you know, give everything away because uh, then we cannot put in the engineering investment that we want. So having said that, let me um, let me walk you through. Everything that we do is, is pretty much up on Telerik.com, right? And uh, before we get into any of the you know web, desktop, mobile products and, and you know, how we get started, he here's a quick thing that I had put together, I think, um, several years back. Uh, and then, I mean, this thing is not, you know, very well maintained. I mean, we do a lot more things in open source. We just haven't added things to the page. So there are lots of libraries that we, you know, have out uh, open source uh, that you can, you know, go and play around with it, make it your own and do your thing. Libraries and just assembly and decompile. Um, and this list of you know, uh, showcase. I've apps, never heard of these. What is just assembly? It lets you uh, disassemble uh, things in a .NET library. So if you are using a library that's built by somebody else, you do not have the source code. You want to just look through how uh, the functions are, what the interfaces are. This lets you kind of look through a, a third party library that you have no control over. Okay. It just kind of essentially opens it up and then tells you what's in it. I, it has nothing to do with WebAssembly. <laughs> no. 
any any .NET library is essentially an assembly, so that's what it comes. Oh, to. oh okay. Uh, and this list of you know showcase apps, this is not exhaustive. Almost every you know um, app that we do, it's it's out in the open. So case in point, if I head over to our you know Mavi suite. Uh, you look at uh, some of the you know uh, showcase apps that we have. Uh, mm -hmm. These are all out in the app stores, like Apple, uh, Android, Microsoft stores. But all of the source code is all up out on GitHub. So this is true for you know majority of our products. Almost every example and a sample and a demo and a showcase app that we do, uh, just to you know tell the story of here's how you build a real world app. Uh, we right. put the source code up on GitHub. So we do a lot of stuff out on GitHub. But the actual libraries themselves uh, are are commercial. So, okay. let's uh, walk through how this is set up. And this is a little different coming from you know your JavaScript background and yeah. mine. And I think this is where uh, you were asking about your know, licensing and so on. And then this is true across the treble. It's just how you get to it. Is Did you just say treble? Table. Oh, <laughs> I was like, is this a new term? Hold up. <laughs> Define it. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm old man. I, I you know, um, slip no, off. Sometimes you say things like that, and they're real things. So I always <laughs> have to check a check because I'm like, wait, wait, it's treeble. Okay, I'm with you now. So, so okay, yeah, how, so how does how does the flow work? Because you're like, okay, about, I need a button. Right. You you need to get a UI library in your project that you're yeah. building for the app that you're yeah. building and you want to get started and know what exactly do you have to do. Yes. And it's like you said, it's slightly different between .NET and JavaScript. So if you are uh, doing JavaScript, then this is kind of what you are used to. So can the UI, right? So you uh, head down there, any of the flavors, Angular, React. Um, so uh, now all of um, this is hosted up on NPM uh, yes. for us, right? So if right. I um, do and get if started... You click on the components on the left, you'll see like, and I'm very curious if this is the same for Telecry, you'll see the way that it's broken down um, for the, the Kendo UI like libraries is like how you NPM install it. So yeah. like if you wanted like button, you would download buttons, plural. But if you wanted, like, right. you know, something like, for instance, different inputs mm -hmm. are packaged together right, under input. Right, right, right. So it, is it the it same? Is, it is of? similar, um, but not always. So okay. I, I see what you're saying. Like if you get on, get down to a uh, uh, chat room, it's like team KDK, we need a button. Yes. We, need uh, we, we all need buttons, right? Fancy buttons. Like, like I need a button graphs, today. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the way you do it in Kendi UI or JavaScript is mm -hmm. you get the corresponding app package. Uh, yes. It just, it just has the button. Right. It is similar uh, for .NET. Except so you're installing all of Telerik UI at once? Uh, again, it depends. Uh, sometimes oh. you may want to get the whole thing, and sometimes they're broken out into more, uh, you know, similar looking or you know groups. Oh. Uh, so it, it's most likely not down to the kind of granularity that you're used to for Angular. It's more like a group of input controls, a group of chart controls, a group of you know data uh, visualization controls. You guys so, got tree shaking going on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, but everybody has to. Oh, I mean, we, this was new to Angular. Like, <laughs> when yeah. we got tree shaking, we were so fancy. So don't say everyone has to, Sam. <laughs> well, we, we have had these issues before Angular I came see. in, right? I so yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We are, we're old school. Uh, so anyways, this is how you do stuff in, you know, you kickstart yeah. an Angular project, CLI, and then you um, bring in, um, you know, NPM. Um, so we have schematics, uh, like that ng add right command right there. It was... Yep. Um, and so that ng add is like a little shortcut that will go ahead right. and do things like add it, add the yeah, imports, yeah. add it to my modules, things like that. But you can also do it the manual way of just adding those lines in yourself. So I right. don't, you guys, do you have things like schematics? No, 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 no. 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 Okay. No, ours is not as granular. But anyways, like this is how you would come in and you would add a license for um, like the whole of Kinder UI Angular. Or do you do it on a per you know, component basis as well. No, 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 project basis. It's one, one project, okay. Yes. So this is why it's 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 a little different because we uh, do things a little bit higher You do level. it on a component level? No, no, we do a higher level up. Uh, so you have mm -hmm. a thing for the whole, uh, you know, you, you cannot just get one component. You get the full suite and okay. then you can choose to use a component if you want. So. 
there are three broad ways in which uh, you can do this. Most okay. of our customers will come in uh, to Telerik.com or KendoUI.com and they would sign in. And by that, I mean this little icon here that says, okay. hey, uh, what's your account? This little, little puppy here, okay? And this is where I get confused because I have way too many accounts and too many things going on. <laughs> this one's a really old one, so I'm going to start with this. Uh, okay. But once you come in here, uh, if you you know have a uh, subscription, if you have an active account, you can sign in, and based on what you have, uh, all of your stuff is going to show up here. And again, I have like three or four different emails that are tied to my licenses. Uh, this one happens to be the one that has most of my .NET stuff, right? So I see all of these products that I have access to. Uh, they're all listed, right? Now I can choose to get down to each product level if I wanted to, or uh, the other option is if I just head down here and I choose DevCraft. So we got two big bundles. There is DevCraft and there is Candy UI. DevCraft actually includes all of it. So all of you know uh, .NET tooling and Kenda UI, all of it is actually included. So this is one big uh, you know bundle that includes just about everything we make, including reporting and testing and and so on. So if you get this, then you you know try that you know hit that download free trial button. And then you get an installer that sets up a few things for you. So I'll get to that and what that does in a second. But otherwise, let's just say you just bought, you know, one thing, Tereq UF on Maui. You will come in here, log into your account, and you're going to see uh, that uh, your product listed here. So once you tap into that, you're going to see everything that this product has. So including... Uh... Uh, yeah, so... This is, what's the latest version? Uh, do you want to get to some internal builds, which we'll talk about? Uh, and so this is where you can drop down to whichever version of your you know, product you're using. Some of our folks will, you know, update. Oh my God, it's so complicated. <laughs> How do you know what to pick? No, you don't have to. Most of the time, you don't need to see any of this. Uh, I'm just showing you the you know, oh. backstory here. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm never gonna figure this out. No, no, it's it's not so. I'm I'm showing it the hard way first. So okay. now you understand, then you can do the easy thing. Okay. Um, so once you come down to a product level, you can see here's the latest version. And if you don't, for some reason, don't want the latest version, let's just say you are stuck with something that's you know two years back, you can go back in time, oh, right, right, right. and then you can get the ones that you want. So wait, these are like, these are zip files what am i doing with a zip file sam depends okay <laughs> so if you are on windows right uh for example this is maui and this you know varies product to product uh but this one's maui so you can build uh or you can build maui apps on either windows or mac so if you're on windows then you're going to do msi which is a windows bundling um, app packaging system oh, so okay. when you you know double click on that it's an installer that's going to install things on windows okay. if you're on a mac then you and me uh, being on mac we're going to choose the pkg package file that's going to install all the bits and if you just want to do it by yourself then the zip file is just a zip file right so uh that's that's about it and you can you know okay. get to the downloads get to the uh, things when you run one of these, here's what you get, uh, just, just for Maui in particular. Yeah, 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 show us. Let me show you what the Maui stuff does. And I have lots and lots of bits. Uh, but here, if I go down to, uh, you can you know install them anywhere I want. Here you can see all of the .NET Maui stuff uh, from, this was Maui 0.0.1. .0 this was Ooh. May of 2021. Does uh, this correspond to like, .NET versions or like much, Maui? Much, yeah. It does. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we we had 14 previews of .NET Maui before .NET Maui hit production readiness, which we call GA, General Availability. So that was our 1.0 version. Uh, so I don't have all of the ones in here, but they you know roughly correspond to the Maui uh, bits because like we released like a month or uh, I mean a week after every Maui release. So we had lots of them, and then since the GA release, which was May of last year. In 2022, we have had, you know, four big and, you know, fifth big release was just, you know, a month back. We are already up to, you know, one more release. So 5.0.1, uh, if you go back here, that's the latest, you know, public release. Oh, version. there's a dot one. Okay. So you, are are we like manually poking at the binaries here? Like what's up with the different things inside well, of them? Because I have not updated to the latest bits. Uh, so oh. you will be prompted and you're not forced, obviously, to upgrade if you don't want so I have the latest uh, installer that I have run is 5.0. Okay. 
Okay. But again, within each of the projects, I can choose to get the updated one if I wanted to. So let's just say I ran that installer, like this PKG file, when I, you know, run that installer, this is what I get. I get all my binaries, which is for .NET 6 and .NET 7 for each of the platforms, iOS, Android. And essentially what you're looking for is, you know, let's go down to, let's say, a Mac Catalyst level. Uh, these are the files that you're looking for. These are called DLLs, right? Do you know what DLLs are in .NET? No. Okay, yes, I do know what DLLs are, but I wait, wait, pause. Maui is like this magical multi-platform tool that allows us to ship to all these things, but you're making me pick one? Why am I picking one? I want to do all of them. You I'm don't so have to pick. You don't have to pick. Uh, it's it's auto magic. It's, you know, magical magic dust, whatever you call it. <laughs> when you build, uh, yeah. when you build your project, uh, the .NET Maui build system does this for you it's going to pick up the corresponding library for each of the project. So okay. that's why it's a multi-targeted build. You okay. don't need to care about any of this. You just install one dependency and we take care of all of it. Is this but multi-platform there... business not new to .NET? Like did other, like did Xamarin do this before? No, no, this is new to uh, oh, is .NET new. Maui. Yep. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. Um, so uh, this is where you get all the bits and we throw in some, you know, sample apps and uh, some of the packages. So this is a file type called, uh, we call it NUPKEG, <laughs> which is essentially a NuGet package. Uh, see, N-U-P, uh, P-K-G. So that's a NuGet package. We touch it, are we touching these things? Why are there, hang on, what is this? They're there, you don't need to touch it. I'm just no showing you behind okay. the scenes stuff, okay. right? So uh, these are all the files that actually have the binaries in them. So after are they chunky time, monkeys? Uh, there is tree shaking. So yes, they can be chunky because they can. Okay. They have all of the UI components. But then let's just say you get Teleric UFA dot Maui, and then out of the you know fifty plus controls, you use only one. It doesn't make sense for us to give you all of it, right? So right. we do some tree shaking and just give you the, what the bits that you need. Okay. So this is how you can go out to uh, the internet and you can sign in and you can get. So our stuff. why does everyone talk about Nugget for Nugget? First of all, that, that's the easier thing to do. Uh, so you as a what? developer, yeah, um, this is, you know, you have some choice as to how you get the stuff, right? This is the old school way where you just go into your downloads directory and your support tickets are here. You need to download the bits and you run the installer. But most people don't do it this way, right? Really? It's much, oh. Yeah, it's much more easier to just do the nougat because then. Will you show me what nougat looks like? Yeah, why not? So let's go over to Visual Studio, and you can also do this in Visual oh, Studio. Oh, you do for... it through your IDE. You don't mm -hmm. go to like the website. You don't have to go to the website. I mean, uh, you can't really do much from the website. Oh, you can't. I assumed it was the same type of deal where you can just download from. Uh, I mean, then you are doing things a little bit um... weird. <laughs> Yeah. You're like, don't you be weird. <laughs> you have to manually do it again. Um, okay, I see. So okay. I think, uh, and you, in fact, there, there there are some things that you actually cannot see on the website. So this is the NuGet, you know, web download section, but nobody, yeah. uh, this is actually the NuGet uh, packages. Let's see. So this is a listing of all the NuGet packages that are hosted, you know, by Microsoft or by NuGet.org. Uh, um, but, you know, what are you going to do from here? You can download the raw bits, but then you have to manually move it over to your project. So it's just so much easier to just do it from your ID. So mm -hmm. that way you are already inside of a project and you don't have to do this. So I guess the hard part that I'm a little lost on is if you're like in a Maui app, if you're in an MVC app, whatever app you're in, and you're inside of Visual Studio, and then you go and you find your like download a NuGet thingy, it has to have... A license key? Like what? No, it's built are... in. No, and, and this is where NPM and NuGet are a little different. So let me ask you a question. When you go to NPM, yeah. a package that's hosted in NPM, can you put it behind uh, some no. sort of a wall? No. That's a, that's a problem. Well, maybe that's how <laughs> NPM rolls. Uh, but NuGet has always had that. Uh, and in fact, like this is NuGet you know, hosted by NuGet.org, but we actually oh. host our own NuGet Wait, server. so do you have like a NuGet mm -hmm. key that you give No, nope, it's just, just your yeah. credentials. So here I am in uh, Visual Studio, okay? So uh, if I go down here to my preferences, mm -hmm. So uh, these are all your, you know, Visual Studio preferences of how you want things. Somewhere down here, I just saw it because it was open. Uh, so here is NuGet, right? So NuGet is essentially 
the package manager for right. all of your .NET dependencies. And this is where you get to set up uh, a NuGet source. A oh. source is where you are going to get your dependencies, right? So NuGet.org is the de facto, the, that's the default source, right? Can you read? Is this big enough? Uh, it is big enough. I'm just pondering the, okay, mm, why? Uh, hang on. <laughs> you it. only have two, but like potentially you could have like a bunch, right? You can have thousands, nothing stopping you. Okay. okay. But it's going to eventually get confusing. So uh, a lot of folks, like if you do not want to trust NuGet.org, for example, like this is uh, oh, a foolish nibble. Get to see <laughs> oh, uh, I got to tell you. Um, you have one a fuel, streams, fuel story? No, I have a, somebody else's story. I'm hoping okay. for chaos. Yeah, full snabble. This is going to be absolute chaos. But uh, do you know Thindle? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I got to see Thindle in person. When? Week. Where? Yeah, this was in Sweden. It was amazing. Because oh. uh, like he, he tagged um, uh, us that he was going to be there. And, you know, uh, his name is Eric Johansson. A wonderful, wonderful oh, person. Thindle's, just... Thindle's live right now. Yay. Where is he? Yeah. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see him in the chat room. No, no, Thindle's live on his own stream right now. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Uh, why are you not there, Sam? Uh, oh, on on because I'm here, foolish Neville. Because I can't live. Why are you on Thindle's stream, Sam? Uh, no, actually, he's he's invited me to join, so we oh, can you know. Fun. Um, uh, you gonna go to, hop on when we wrap? No, no, not not today. But eventually, he wants to do like a migration project, and nice. uh, I might hop on and you know try to you know do it with him. Um, so yeah, I, I got to uh, see Thindle in person. So Will Schnabel would be nice to see you in person somewhere. Um, yeah, right. We, we keep going to Europe quite often. You gonna? I'm gonna be in Boston next week. You gonna be there, Fuel? You gonna be there? <laughs> this is Basta in Frankfurt, right? Uh, not the one yeah. in Mainz. Yeah. Oh, because where's the other one at? My it's in Mines. It's uh, about you know thirty miles away from Frankfurt. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, cool. So you go into here. Is it hard to get this source in? Like when you say no, add, no. does it just ask for like? Yep, it's just going to ask for a URL essentially. So a lot of folks, what oh. they do is, if you what? do not want to, um, you know, trust NuGet.org, this is hosted by NuGet or you know Microsoft. Uh, this is hosted by us. This is actually our server that you're hitting, right? So if you do not want to trust those things, you want to, you know, have those packages always available to you and, you know, just always be local within the firewall of your company, then you can host your own NuGet server, right? It's, you know, it's just a web app. It's nothing right. stopping you. Um, oh, your uh, food schnapple is in Oslo. I yeah. know. I, I applied to NDC mm -hmm. Oslo, but I didn't get in this year. Womp. I did not apply. I had you didn't apply. Sort of, no, I had oh. some sort of a conflict. So, but NDC Oslo is remarkable. So everyone was back. telling me that they were like, "That's the NDC to be at." I was like, "Really? Yeah, it's wonderful." Next year, next year. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can get the bits from us. That's the easiest thing. But most people do. But once you have the bits, like these are files, right? You can host them on your own file server and just pull them down. Nothing stopping you. When you do add the Telerik feed, though. Yeah. The first time you add it uh, and you try, you know, uh, you know, signing on to it, it is going to give you that uh, credential check, right? Tell us who you are, and that is the difference between npm and NuGet. NuGet lets you lets us, you know, put you behind a wall, so not everybody can, you know, it's not free for all. Uh, so once you can get that NuGet source figured out, you don't need any license key, you don't need any credentials, like you have a full access to all of this, right? Um, so with that, you know, NuGet source, here's what I can do on any project, right? So I can, you know, come in here and I can say, uh, you know, manage my NuGet uh, package dependencies. So here you can see uh, I can choose where I'm going. Like if I go to NuGet.org, then I see all of the Microsoft and the NuGet bits, uh, the, the common ones that are out there. I can choose, you know, pre-release or I can say, just show oh, me wow. the ones that I have installed in my project. So now it's going down to a project level. Right. Oh. And then you can also come down. I can switch up to the Teleric feed, which is what I have you know, figured out. These are all of our bits. Right. So uh, forget all of the other things that I said as to how you go and download Teleric UFO.MAUI. You don't have to. Now it's just, you know, one checkbox right here. And it already gives you that 5.0.1, which is the latest stable one. Or you can go back in time and get the other ones if you want. You can go, you know, nightly builds, pre release versions, whatever you want. And you do this per 
project that you're doing, right? On a project basis, exactly. So once you add that package, here's what happens. Uh, in your dependencies, it gets listed out here. Um, so here are my Nougat Are packages. you still live, Findle? Are you in our chat and live? Is that legal? Is that legal? How are you here? <laughs> How are you here? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Fiddle just raided us. Uh, oh, hey. you just raided you. <laughs> Thank you. That makes that makes more sense. I was that like, would be insane if you were live on your thing and also chatting with us. But mm. good to see you, Fendel. Uh, I was just telling Melissa that uh, I got to see you in person, and you're amazing. I'm so jelly in Sweden. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So. You Beautiful you... Stockholm. And uh, before we move on, uh, Findel, I do uh, have your email. Uh, let me just uh, get back to you on that, uh, what you were asking. I would love to you know, get together, do some you know streams with you. All right. What were you asking, Melissa? Uh, so you, what did you just do? Because you're, what is this file you're in? You're in the so, uh, program uh, CS the file. The file doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, just okay. imagine any project where you're bringing this in, right? So once I pull in the dependencies, they're listed right here. And essentially what this means is if I go into the project, uh, so let's take you into a project, which I am in, this one here. Phil so said your to font is too small for bad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Well, uh, I, can, I can zoom in a little easier. Uh, okay, so uh, here is my project. And mm -hmm. if I get down here, okay, hang on. Zoom in makes it difficult for me to uh, navigate. navigate. I know. <laughs> Uh, where is my oh, thanks, Ed has been telling everybody man dang I got like some DMs in my Twitter that were like are you okay and I'm like how do you all know yes I totaled my jeep I am yeah, a dummy sure. uh, he are, you, are, are you okay though let me yes. be the last person to ask I know <laughs> I still have some like and some chest pain I don't know oh. if it was like the airbags or what but i'm doing really well i passed all my ct scans and x-rays so good, we're good. good. No, we were all really scared when he said that ah, i just happened to crash and <laughs> i'm like oh my god <laughs> okay. oh. so in the dot net world we have I'm this sorry. wonderful thing um <laughs> okay um in the .NET world, we have this wonderful thing called DLL, which is uh, an old school concept of dynamic linked libraries, I think is what it's called. Essentially, it means that everything, every linked thing that is needed at runtime to make an app function, right? So if you look at the bin directory of any built-in app, you're going to see all of these DLLs, right? So essentially, our uh, you know somewhere down here are also going to be our Telerik bits, right? So Again, uh, of all the things that I was showing you that are platform specific, you don't need to worry about any of that because when you do a build, it figures out which one, which ones um, is the right one to use. Does this make sense? I'm just worried about the actual getting the button part because I'm worried <laughs> that it's going to be like, you don't have permissions. Uh, no, as long as you can get in, then and then you do. Um, and, and here's the thing, the um, uh, where's the project? Hold on, let me get you to the project file here. Uh, what you were asking, this is the uh, multi-targeted thing that is now different between uh, old school.net and you know, .net Maui. Uh, we have these things called target frameworks. This is a you know multi-targeted project by default. So what this target framework list tells you is these are all the platforms on which this app can run. Now, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be the exact same executable on every platform. So when you do a build, you have to choose which platform you're building it for. So here in the drop down, you yeah, have- Yeah, why? Because did you choose to rule out Windows? What's up with that? Um, I don't like Windows too much. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Uh, I, I just have it uncommented or uh, commented out, but no, no. You can you do? have all the things. Yeah, you, you can uh, run it on every, every platform. But what I'm trying to tell you is be it on command line interface or here in the drop down, like you are choosing a specific, you know, platform like iPhone or Android, right? Or, you know, Mac Catalyst. So when you do that, it knows that it needs to do a build for Android or for so Mac. So it knows which ones it's going to need to grab. It knows exactly which DLLs to grab. And also, particularly for .NET Maui, you have this platforms folder, which is yeah. Android, yeah. iOS, Tizen. Yeah. So if you do anything that is specific to iOS, then it knows how to grab any flash screens or anything that's, you know, app delegate things that are specific to iOS just for that build. What but is Tizen? I've never heard of this before. Oh, Tizen is beautiful. 
beautiful. If you have a Samsung fridge or a TV, it's likely run in Tarzan. Oh. It's their own uh, proprietary OS. Oh my gosh. The venue that we are hoping to have Devrich in has little TV monitors on the sink faucets. You think those are ties? <laughs> Is any application ties in? Like that's like you know appliance or not if it's necessarily. It's built by Samsung and it's Samsung. not running. Um, uh, if it's not running Android Gear or Gear OS, then it is uh, like oh, Tizen. Okay. Okay. Oh, Why, uh, what, so, chat's going on about GAC. What is yeah. this GAC? Uh, so you know, bring up what Thindle was saying. The uh, uh, <laughs> this thing, the GAC. Yeah. Um, Bad idea of getting worse. There was an issue where some applications would overwrite DLLs that other applications had installed, followed by API changes. <laughs> So yeah. Microsoft figured, let's save all the DLLs at the same time, no matter their name. Hmm. So for you, essentially, it means don't worry about this. Uh, this was an artifact from the older days. Uh, we have learned how to do smarter uh, things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, GSE or GAC. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 the GAC yeah. hell. It yeah. was promised a lot yeah. of things, but didn't yeah. deliver, made things actually life more yeah. complicated for us. Yeah. But we are over those days, or no, they yeah. still come back? No, no, I mean, you are dealing with DLL, so you might, you know, but things are nicely sandboxed. Things are, they're not, you know, writing over each other. <laughs> so that's kind of how you get through the dependencies. Like I showed you, like you can get to each of the platform specific ones, but you don't care. Like, I mean, would you rather go over to, uh, you know, uh, this thing over here? and download all of your bits by hand, or would you just rather do it through NuGet? It's just so much easier, right? Through, so through NuGet. will the NuGeting keep it up to date for me? Or no, I choose to like go in? No, it no. Uh, it will not. It will not force you into anything. Uh, so let me see if I can uh, show you something that's a little old school. Uh, maybe, maybe this one's the last one. Um, so what you get is these little indicators that, hey, something has been updated. Um, maybe, yeah, no, this one already has the new ones. So when you get, um, oh, this one's uh, not showing me for some reason, but this one you can see like it's showing me the 4.0, which is, you know, two versions back. Uh, so if this was working right, then you will get a little, you know, green arrow up here that says, hey, you need to update this. Uh, if you oh, yeah. so Visual no, Studio not, will like ping you about it. Not, not, like... Nothing is forced onto you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you have the actual, because you went through and you like linked up your NuGet and then you like added Telerik UI to your project, you don't have access to it kind of, but like, did it add it to like import somewhere? Like, do you have evidence that you have it? No, the um, evidence is that you you have it in your dependencies. You actually okay. So it being in that folder is, and so then you go to the docs and you like look up the syntax for components, yeah. and then you just start plopping them in. Like, is that the yeah. next? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now uh, the imports thing, you do have to sometimes bring it in based on certain namespaces that you're using, and that's different between MVC or Blazor or Maui, okay. uh, and, and so on. Uh, but before we get to that, let me sh let me close the loop. Let me show you one other way of doing this, and this is. Uh, particularly if you are on Windows, uh, you don't get this on a, on a Mac. Uh, so your lights might. Oh, are you this. on Parallels? I am. I'm bringing it. I oh my God! Can, you got Maui working on Parallels because I like downloaded it and I got Visual Studio and like all three different styles of Visual Studio, and it will not show me Maui as a template option. And no, I'm like. Also, you're on an M1. Oh, by the way, I'm getting the M2 Max. Which I'm is on an M2, <laughs> you mother fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> same same thing. It's Apple Silicon, uh, so <laughs> you are using a different version of Visual Studio than this. This is an Intel. Oh no! Mac. So um, you think there might be a problem with this version of Visual? No, Studio? just okay. So when you are running .NET Maui apps on Windows, this is actually running on ARM because Apple Silicon is an ARM chip. My uh, my work my work. It's not me. <laughs> I don't have those dollars. <laughs> uh, full schnabel, to be honest. And, and these are expensive machines, like five grand, uh, everything combined, right? So, but the good thing is that they last forever. Like my present Intel Mac, the one that you're seeing right now, this is like six years old. They last forever. Well, how and, long does a Windows laptop last? Yeah, depends. Uh, does the, it? The, cheap, the cheaper you go, the less it lasts. Shorter. 
Yeah, but you know, modern you know surface hardware is about the same price. <laughs> as, as Shut up, Mac. you! We don't need your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so between so between M1 and M2, uh, I think that's a, it's a marginal uh, maybe increment. But like coming from Intel to M2, that's going to be like a huge uh, bump for me. Um, so okay. let me show you one one more thing, Alyssa, that I uh, didn't. Um, so going back to my Mac, if I um, get back here to uh, justtoday.com, if I do this DevCraft trial, what you get, and you can also get this separately, is this thing called a control panel. Uh, what is it? Oh, I actually have it listed right here. So this is only on Windows. Uh, you do not get this on a Mac, but essentially we have lots and lots of tooling that are very specific to .NET developers who are mostly on Windows. So we used to have this, and honestly, not many people use this, uh, but it's still you know maintained. Um, so it's logging me in. Essentially, it's a control panel for is this all. A, is of this your... a website? What am I looking at? No, no, it's a just a simple Windows app, like a desktop so, app. Yep, yep. So essentially, this is uh, something you get that keeps track of all of your binaries in one place, right? You can take everything except for typing. Yep. <laughs> uh, so uh, this one here will tell you like uh, uh, these ones uh, need updates. These ones need to be you know purchased and so on. So it's like all in Woo! one spot. That I gotcha. Yeah. But again, it's up to you know customers who want to use this. And not many people maybe use it, and that's fine. Uh, but it's it's just a nice, quick, and easy way. And again, if you run those installers on Windows, you get you know similar things. So, for example, since I do have Windows open here, let me take you to my Windows installations here. Program files, uh, da -da -da, progress. Uh, let's just say uh, this one here. And I know my fonts are small. If I go into a WinUI uh, installation, you get the similar idea. So binaries, examples, license agreements. So all of the bits, all of the examples, all of the agreements, they, they all go in here. So that's what the installers do. Okay. But again, the installers are kind of a roundabout way. If you want to it's get like our sample same, apps. It's the same as like the website though, right? Like it's just downloading it to your computer yep. and then it's up to you to like yep. Put but in your project. sometimes what the installers do is give you extra things, which is what you are asking. Those are called Visual Studio extensions, right? So confusing, but uh, these are extra tooling on top of Visual Studio that kind of helps helps you out. So let's see um, what, are you what, talking I, about? what I have here. Let me take a look. Are you uh, talking about that green arrow thing? Are you talking about nope, something else? Nope. No. This, these are extra things in here. So uh, what can I do? Let me see if I can show you anything. Okay. Oh. Fuel, so it still works if you just have it plugged in the whole time? Uh, which one? Oh, Fuel was saying that his MacBook Pro from 2013 doesn't. The this battery doesn't uh, Yeah, this one's an old school Mac. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, you, you know you are pushing your machines hard when you are... And I'm at my desk. Everything is plugged in, but the Macs, like five, six years back, they used to have a 90 watt, uh, you know, charging brick, which isn't much. Nowadays, it's like 160 watt. So I was doing a webinar where it's like two hours of screen sharing. Yeah, uh, I'm all plugged in, but my battery went down to like four percent. It went down anyways. I've had While that I'm happen yeah. when That's I was when working, where I'm like watching my juice. battery drain, and yeah. I'm like, oh my. <laughs> yeah, it's just not enough of bigger, you know, power brick. It's, you know, physics at, at some point. Like it's, you know, heating, uh, pushing the heat off. Uh, and MacBooks are good, but even when you have it propped, it's not the best compared to like a Windows desktop machine, which has like fans all over. Mm -hmm. You just cannot compare like a desktop with a laptop. Mm -hmm. um, but here, um, oh, actually, uh, I do not have, uh, looks like the latest uh, Telerik ones here, but you can manage your extensions. These are extra tooling on top of Visual Studio that light up you know for certain apps so you can oh, get the extensions like, as well like highlighting and stuff or like no sca no scaffolders, sca scaffolders exactly for okay. uh specific project types uh let me see if my mac uh, visual studio has an extension give me a second i'm pulling up my parallels to see if i can parallels put it in your pocket Okay, I actually do have one here on my Mac side of things. So this is the Visual Studio menu. Do you see that? What? You with me? No. Where are you? Show me. Okay. I'm looking at your screen. Okay, do you see that up on top? 
Visual Studio. It says Telerik? Why? What? Yeah, because that, that's a specific extension, right? So that comes with uh, Telerik UFO.in Maui that points you to all of these extra things. And it gives you like a little uh, project structure as well. So if you what? create a Maui project with that extension, then we, you know, drop in our bits, we wire up all the things so you don't have to do anything. This so, is only on Windows? No, no it's all on, on a Mac right now. Yeah. Oh. So when you go through the installers, you get those extra things. So again, oh. two, two major ways. One is you can go up here to your account, right? And you can, um, you know, let's- You said let's when go. we go through those installers, you mean when we go through Visual Studio? Nope, nope. No. When you go through these installers, which are our oh, installers. Oh, I got to go through the hard way. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm I want saying. the scaffolder, though. Yeah. So when you when you go in here and when you go install through that installer, then you get the Visual Studio extensions and you get the examples and you get the binaries. Or you can just, you know, go to Nougat and get it. But there's a way of, you know, getting the just the Visual Studio extensions separately. If you don't want to go through the installers, that's fine too. So once you, like, if you do the installer, you download this, and then, like, you just have it on your machine, how did you link it to your project? Did you, like, point to it in, like, Visual Studio? Did you, like, say, this is where these files are? I'm not following. So you downloaded all of that stuff, those the file tree with like the binaries and the example projects and Matt Catalyst, blah, blah, blah. That's got all of the things for yeah. Telerik UI for Maui. Mm -hmm. But then what, like to get that connected to your project in Visual Studio, what did you do? Cause you don't go through the nugget path. You go. They're, you know they're I mean? not, they're, no, they're not connected. Right. So, so you have to, at some point say, Hey, Maui project, Here's the stuff I just downloaded. How do you link them? Right. You do it manually if you are going to go that way. So when you go through the installers, let's go back in here again. So documents, progress. Actually, hold on. I'm going to uh, turn off my Windows machine because it's just sitting there and the fans going crazy, which I don't know. I hear, I hear yeah, the, hear the fans be with you. <laughs> <laughs> May the fan with be with you. Uh, so when you go through the installers, right, you're going to get all of this. Right. Uh, let's just look at the last one. Those are your binaries. Those are your examples and uh, you know, all the things. If you start up a new .NET Mavi project and yes. you think you know what you're doing, then you can just <laughs> come in into .NET and you can grab the DLLs right from inside here and uh, copy them over into I your see. project. I see. Right? But that's just a roundabout I way really, of doing things. I really, really liked that preface. And you think you know what you're doing. Because <laughs> you, might, you might mess it up, right? So yeah. let, let the tooling do it for you. Yeah. you. You don't know what the dependencies are, which one depends on I the see. other one. Just let the Nougat package, you know, um, you know, manage it, do it for you. It'll just put everything in the right place and do a build for you. Okay. So there's nothing stopping you from, you know, like if you look at uh, like this, this, uh, uh, like this core DLL, this is this exact same core DLL that's going to show up in every Maui project that uses our stuff. Um, but you need to know exactly where to put it, right? So uh, it's just easier uh, in Visual Studio, just letting the tooling Let do, it do it for you. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Now, once you are in, uh, then based on, uh, you know, the framework that you are in, you might have extra things to do. For example, in .NET Maui, we still have this uh, extension method called use Telerik. It just wires up a couple of things for you. And then you might have a global using if you wanted to for some extra dependencies and some namespaces that you're bringing in. I am using a couple of things in compatibility mode, which is coming from Xamarin Forms to .NET Maui. So you might not need it if you're not using these controllers. What's compatibility uh, mode? Compatibility is essentially, so we had Xamarin Forms, right? Which was okay. for taking .NET uh, to iOS and Android. Then we said, let's do .NET Maui, which is Let's add on desktop, which is Windows and Mac. So now we have iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. So the components that we had for Xamarin Forms, and those are still out there. We have rewritten almost 98% of them to be native .NET MAUI components. There are some that are still out there. So every Xamarin Forms component will work just fine in .NET MAUI. You just need to have a compatibility shim in it so it knows how to render it. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Did you, are you I'm saying waiting. that every Telerik UI Xamarin component will work in a Maui app? Yes. What? Yes. What? The, the architectures are different, but uh, there's nothing stopping you from making it work. 
Oh, do they like frown upon this though? Like this? Not really, because uh, essentially, realistically, if you had built these comp, like we have engineering teams who can do this for us, but if you had built a library of your own, then yeah. it's unrealistic for you to just, you know, switch over to Dr. Maui, you know, uh, overnight. So this is just buying you some time to make the transition over to Dr. Maui. Uh, performance okay. is a little better uh, if you come to the newer architecture, but there's nothing stopping you from rendering it. But the community won't like boo you for doing such a thing. No, no, that's okay. fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you show? I want to see a button, Sam. Show us. A button. <laughs> you still want to see a button? Show us a button. <laughs> uh, well, why a button? Let's go for something. Uh, a little oh, bit more. I, you know, just because buttons are not scary. Oh, you want buttons? You just want a button? Okay. All right. They're not let's, scary. Let's do, you know, it's not like I'm button. asking for a data grid. <laughs> God. Fine. Let's let's do a button. Okay. Let's do it from scratch. Okay. So yeah, yeah. we're gonna say, let's just. Uh, do you want a Maui app or what type of app do you want? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just okay, want to see matter. the flow. Okay, so let's just do a .NET Maui app, okay? Uh -huh. So .NET 7, we want to be on the latest and greatest if we can. Boo. <laughs> I knew the community would boo us. I knew it would happen. <laughs> Although I don't know if napalm counts, but. <laughs> right. Here's my project. Starting <laughs> out. Yeah. So this is just a straight up dot and maui app at this point it's got nothing else to yeah. it uh, yeah. everything is set up right um, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's run this uh just make sure we, we're good let's do a build it's still restoring packages by the way i did it too quick oh napam is here hi napam i was too fast to fire up the build but it's what you know, did getting you press stuff. oh you're building i'm building okay are your docs pretty much like our docs Define your docs. I thought our docs are the same. My docs are the same as your docs. Are they? Are you talking ducks or docs? <laughs> do you have geese or do you have ducks? <laughs> no. <laughs> our documentation, like, because ours, you know, obviously structured and broken down by package, but then even further, it's like every single component has like yep. an overview section that talks about like, in, like getting same. it into your project. And then it talks about the features and the APIs that they all come with. Yep, it's about the same. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, head over to docs.com and you can, you know, step into anything that you want. Uh, and then you can see, these are the same getting started experience. So it kind of walks you through, like, do you go download the bits yep. by yourself, right? Yep. Uh, this yep. is exactly what I was showing you. Or you can just, you know, get it uh, from NuGet package. Here's what you get when you run the installer. So it runs through all of this. And then once you do, you can you need to use that use generic and so on. And then once you come in, it has a list of all these you know controls. And for each one, let's just say button, since we're doing a button here. Isn't it um, weird that you guys don't have schematics? Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. So I'll, I'll show you an iteration of that. So uh, it's just the way the .NET and JavaScript ecosystems are different. We do have some granular control over exactly what that NuGet package is. But for the most part, tree shaking takes care of it all. I just, it's just like, I assumed any big concept that the JavaScript community came up with or has originated in the .NET world. So it's weird that like. We, we just call it differently. Like we don't get just one component by hand. We just. Well, know, no, it's not just the components by hand. It's like on that last page, it was telling you to do the, make sure you do like use Telerik method. Right. Yeah. And then like, it was like telling you what to do, but like our schematic would just take care of that for you. It would just like write that out for you, shove that into your project so that you don't have to do that boilerplate. So it's weird that you guys don't have stuff to take care of boilerplate. Like, like I guess you're just fine with doing the hard work yourself. I don't <laughs> Maybe it's not something we consider hard work, uh, the way you're putting it. Uh, okay, hold on, where was I? Uh, let's let's go back to that. I, I do want to show you where like our Nougat packages are, you know, uh, broken out. Um, oh yeah, where is where was chart where checkbox? Was okay, so there's button. So button is by himself, just like ours. Oh wow, I get warnings from my basic uh, WMAV app. That's not right. That can't be happening. Who is yelling at you? Xamarin is yelling at you. It's not a. Oh, is this a Xamarin app I built? Uh, is it? Maybe. Well, the error just said something about Xamarin, but I don't know. I it's thought you picked successful. Maui. Yeah, I did too. It's also uh, Tuesday for Visual Studio. <laughs> What's that mean? 
There are certain days of the week because the studio works better than others. What the frick? Shut your front door. What are you <laughs> talking about? It, it does. There is things not. You're, oh, you're, it is you're really just confused messing. Now. Is it really? It is, is there really days really to confused. not Visual Studio? Like, no, is that no. <laughs> Dang it, Sam. I totally bought it. I was like, never code on a Tuesday. <laughs> Okay, let's restart and see if we can restore packages now. You see that uh, thing at the bottom that says, hey, I'm restoring. You have it covered with the... Uh, sorry, like, sorry. Yep, Loading Android Down. Yeah, So it's, it's so getting all this stuff. How did you fix stuff. it? I didn't yet, so I'm just going to give it another try. Let's see if it builds. We'll never get a button. <laughs> I could have shown you more advanced things, but you just wanted a button. The name, hey, let's see. Wow. Did you is... try to... Why? This is like a default... No, it is. No, it's nothing has been changed. It's just very upset with me for maybe some alley bits that I have out of sync. Uh, <laughs> this is not fun. All right, let's go back to something else. Uh... Oh, are we going to do an MVC app? You want an MVC app? Oh yeah, show me how to do it. How do you do it? How do you Hold do on, it? you you just wanted Maui for a second. I just I'm was sure. also wondering how to make an MVC app. When people say that, what do they mean? And where's the button for making one of those? <laughs> you, you're tapping into a lot of history here. So essentially, because <laughs> like know. when I go MVC in my like templates, I don't think it's helping. So. so when you look at web components, right, uh, all of our web UI, uh, this is all of your Tinder UI stuff, you know, jQuery, Angular, React, and Vue. ASP.NET had a long evolution. Ajax is the old school one uh, of web forms, right? And then came MVC, which is a model view controller pattern. Then came ASP.NET and then came Blazor. So you're looking at this particular suite. Is MVC only on web or can you have a desktop app that's MVC? No, nope, MVC, uh, ASP.NET is all for web, web apps. So, so you can't is, do desktop you know, with MVC? No. Well, I mean, you could do responsive stuff on mobile and desktop, but it's meant for web apps. It's, it's not native app in any way. So yeah, you're looking at a lot of controls here. Um, you really want an MVC app, don't you? All right. I don't know if I have all of the ASP.NET binaries, but I can try. Thindle Let's keeps see. making this face, and I, like, want to know what that face would look like in real life. Do you think it would be, like, down? Mm. It's, like, not impressed. <laughs> is that what it is? It means not impressed? Mm. Maybe. I'm like, are you making a duck face at me? What is this? <laughs> okay, so if I look at, uh, again, uh, I don't do a lot of web stuff, so I may not have some of the templates, but here I see, like, if I go to web, I see one web application, which is model V controller with C sharp oh, or F sharp. Oh, uh, okay, I gotta go see if I have that one. Hold on. And .NET, no authentication. I don't care about HTTPS for now because it's gonna <gasps> ask for a certificate. Yeah, and it wants to know C sharp or F sharp. Isn't F sharp dead? No, for all three people, it's, it's <laughs> live and tricky. All right. Um, no, I'm, that was I'm, the I'm funniest joking. thing you've ever I'm said. <laughs> I am joking. Oh, wow. I hurt full schnabel now. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, I love you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. you made an NBC. <gasps> press yeah. play, Sam. Press play. Press play. Hold on. Uh, let's build it press, first. Press play. Build it first. Press play does build it. You just press play yeah, and I it know. goes and it plays the app for you. you but know? I'm, 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 I'm slow. I want to make sure it builds first. Okay, it did build. And so now we can uh, <laughs> run an MVC app. So now it's going to be ASP.NET straight up. Uh, there is our wonderful <gasps> no. Elsa Loves MVC no. app. And it's got like a 5012 logo host. This is the coolest yeah. thing ever. Show me. Show me the template. <gasps> Put a button down. Put what a what button template? down. Oh, you want our stuff now. Okay, hold on now. Because I, I again I don't do this, so I have to look it up. I'm sure it's the easiest thing, um, button. All right, da, 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 <laughs> getting started. Uh, project template, uh, Telerik UI. No, Nougat. no fuel. Everyone loves VB. Everyone's like VB is the best. Yay! Uh, but everyone hates functional programming, at least on the JavaScript side of life. I don't know about .NET side. 
Okay, so for MVC, we need to get this <laughs> package here, Telerik UI for ASP.NET/MVC. All right, let's let's go do that. So we're gonna stop that. Ed would love it that you're making me do MVC apps. Why does he love MVC apps? No, he loves all things Blazor. Uh, but is, it's, is Blazor MVC? No, it's more of an MVU pattern. It's the evolution oh. of what MVC used to be. Uh, okay, too many too many packages here. Yeah. We need to find the one that's ASP.NET MVC. It has to. So you keep saying this ASP.NET. Why do you keep saying that word? Because ASP.NET is the framework on which we stand. Telerik UI for ASP.NET dot MVC. Okay, <laughs> what is it called? Telerik dot UI. <laughs> Listen, uh, you all think you're gonna hurt my feelings by bashing Blazor. And I don't think, unless you said <laughs> Angular is dead, you can have feelings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's, there, there's the Blazor one. Uh, let's just grab this one. Telerik UF for ASP dot an MVC five. I have no idea what that is. That sounds that sounds like the one for us though. I say install yeah. it. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, it. fairly uh, updated from last month, so let's add that. Vendel said MVC five is framework. Mm -hmm. React yep. killed it. Oh. <laughs> Listen, my good friend, she's alive and kicking, like a magic carp on the side of the road. All right. Okay, so we got the dependency in. I think. Uh, let's check our new packages. <gasps> there it is. Oh, uh, why is it yelling at thing. us? Why is it angry, Sam? I don't know. Package, Package restored, restored with warnings. We don't care about warnings. Nobody cares about warnings. <laughs> Nobody cares about warnings. <laughs> Not All even right. a little bit. Um, then what do we do? Um, components. Let's go to... <laughs> is there... Where is the button component? Oh, now uh, MVC has helpers, which is a different way of styling or rendering your HTML. You're making what? me work work hard here. I don't also. know what you just said. You said something about helpers and rendering, and I just want a button... <laughs> yeah, so helpers are a fancy way of rendering things. Uh, actually, makes it makes your life much easier. Like, I don't think we have a button. Do we have a button? Okay. In, in, in... We have got to go talk to the dev team right now. If there is no button, that's like Maybe the most button. basic component in the whole world. The whole world, Sam. Is there really uh, no button? Oh my god! Hang on. Button. No, there is a button. Oh. What is There's it under? Button. It's underneath something funky? Uh, oh, it's a, it's a fancy button with like badges and RTL support and accessibility and keyboard navigation. Look at that theming. So it's a button on steroids. Um, so, so is it called a label though? No, no, it's called a button if I can just find what it is. <laughs> uh, ASP.NBC button, maybe. Uh, I just assumed you could start typing like Telerik button and Visual Studio would figure it out. <laughs> okay, here's the button. Uh, so this is too small. Uh, so here, see, see, these these are helpers, right? So you see a little bit of Kendo in here because like we are rendering something that's rather complex. What am I looking at? This is what's called a um, a helper in. Uh, what language is uh, this? This is HTML. That's uh, chat, 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 chat. <laughs> Use code snippets to render HTML. Yep. False. Um, That's not HTML. But do I not have to do anything before to get started? Hold on. Uh, I need to make sure. Prerequisites. Do I have the prerequisites? Oh, I need to prepare the CSH HTML file uh, using MVC. All right. Uh, let's go to our views, I think. Home. Uh, maybe this should be in the... You're blowing my mind. We're going to figure it out, though. We're going to get a button, I'm man. trying, I'm trying. Hold Use on. CS HTML. Yeah, I'm trying to see, figure out which one should I maybe yeah. on the index. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go here. So using that... I don't think .NET people should touch the front end. I think that's what's happening. I think the .NET people... <laughs> no, .NET trying. people like me do native .NET stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They need to get their now, grubby digits out of the UI. 
Now I can do this little thingy here. Can do your button uh, right under this thingy. How about that? Okay. Uh -huh. So can do date button, oh, what wow. date it is. Uh, add an icon and a badge. Okay, that, that those are step two. Uh, and it's not liking the helper for some reason. Uh, not? How can you tell it's not liking it? Oh, because of the red. The red's quickly. But maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just yelling at me for no reason. Let's see how what I broke. Oh I just gosh. did that. Did it run? Did it build? No. It didn't no. build. You are running the restore. Wait, what did it say? Oh. Uh, I didn't register oh, something. Okay. What do I need to do to <laughs> register? Hold on. So this is where we need need uh, Ed because I don't do web. Uh, do I need this in a different spot? You can write. Uh, the nugget is giving you a warning. Uh, yeah, it was warning me, but it was fine. Refresh. Nugget without the space gets stuck in the. <laughs> I do not have spaces. <laughs> oh, that brings me so much. See, now I, I could do this <laughs> easily in Xamarin or Maui, but you're making me do web. So <laughs> hold on. Maybe this needs to be in a few stars. HTML. I've never heard of such a thing. How fancy. It's just a view. Uh, I got tag helpers. Maybe I'll put it in here. No, oh, that's not what I want. I wanted this one here. That one, that nugget got through. No, that's not what I want at all. I'm using add using. Uh, <laughs> Kendo, so he gets the Kendo. <laughs> oh, Ed's fun. Ed, she's making me do MVC. 2005 has really called. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Because she would not settle for anything other than MVC. I wanted to see what it looks like, what it feels like. If we can, right. you know. Okay, so uh, Ed, <laughs> tell me, uh, be nice, be nice, and tell me what I'm messing up. So this is a boilerplate MVC app. I've brought in the ASP.NET uh, Nougat package, and in my index HTML, she just wants to see a button. So I have a using Kendo MVC, and then I'm using a tag helper, and it's barking at me for wow. something. Let's do a clean. That's weird build. that it says Kendo because we're on the Telerik side of things. Okay. What? Ed, Ed is going to correct me. Uh, but uh, a lot of these things that you see, uh, let's, let's go back here. Uh, when you look at our web stuff here, you have all of the Kendo UI stuff. But everything that you see from MVC, UI for ASP.NET, MVC, and Core, those are actually still uh, rendered. Uh, those are wrappers for, I mean, it's the same exact you know core components that are used by Kendo UI as well. So you're essentially, you know, wrapping it up within a .NET wrapper and, you know, rendering the same thing. So you picked MVC5, which we were hoping we could go with, but apparently it's .NET Framework, which doesn't run on Mac. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> doesn't, oh, MVC5 run on .NET Core? No? I don't know. Let's try rebuild. Yeah, it's yeah. This is the framework you see that. Yeah, .NET Framework version four point six point one. So it's going to be hard, uh, Alyssa. Oh, we don't have. We totally don't have to me, do this. You can unless show you me... want me to go back to Windows and do this MVC because you were just wanting MVC. I can. Can you choose between Blazor, Xamarin, and Maui so I can show you a button? Oh, Xamarin. Let's see Xamarin. Xamarin. All right. All right. Better. I've never seen a Xamarin app before. All right, multi-platform app, uh, Xamarin uh, blank app, sure. This uh, really. What wants... is he talking about? Oh, Apple. <laughs> Fox. Okay. Uh, I don't care about Android. Just give me iOS. All right. 
So now, do you see the difference between Maui and you know Xamarin Forms? We used to have separate projects for each folder. This was not multi-targeted. That's kind so, of cool, though, right? Um, you can roll with this if you want. I mean, no one's forcing you. If you want to have a separate folder for iOS, separate folder for Android and Tizen and Windows. Oh, so like everything that you write, you have to go write in the other one? Yeah, yeah, which is a pain for you know, really big uh, Xamarin Forms projects. Yeah. Um, so let's make sure this builds. You're like, this is out of the box. Please build. <laughs> And again, I haven't updated Xamarin yeah, bits in a while. Anything. We'll see. Windows for ARM. Yeah. Uh, that's what uh, Alyssa was running into Napalm. So that's actually coming. So Alyssa, for your M1 or M2 Apple Silicon chips, the support for running Windows on ARM, it's coming in the next version of Visual Studio update, which should be later this month. What are you talking about? Are you talking about in parallels? Or are you talking about... Yes, yes, in parallels. When you run... I'm running Windows in parallels right, on this right. Mac, but it doesn't have everything. Like the Visual Studio is was is, is jank. Yes, because you are not you're not running the right thing. When you run Windows on parallels on an M1 or an M2 Mac, you're essentially running on an ARM chip, yeah. and that support isn't there in .NET Maui yet. Oh my God! Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I can be done with. Uh, I was MVC literally walking buttons. around the conference with my laptop, going, "Do you know Maui?" And they'd be like, "No." Do you know Maui? No. Aww, finally, I found so someone sad. who. Finally, I found someone who knows Maui, and they were like, "But only on Windows." And I was like, "I give up. I give up." <laughs> no, talk to us. We're here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we have a button that is. Uh, native and that's meant to work for all the things let's look at getting started setting up your app get the references right uh, so all of these i don't need to worry about it because i can just get the nougat package right uh, so let's go do that so i can go manage nougat packages i can go to the telerik feed which is i'm already on it uh, so here, uh, notice how, uh, Alyssa, I got so many different ones for Nougat packages. So I got a Telerik UF for Xamarin. That's the one primary one, but then it's broken down into chart, chart light, visualizations, common, common trials, data controls. So there is your granularity, but if you don't want to mess with it, just don't mess with it because we'll do the, I mean, do the tree shaking for you. Uh, yeah. For a bit. Yeah. Fintel, good to see you. And I will get back to your email. I promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got about 17 minutes before uh, Kido comes home. Could not add to our QI. Oh, no. no. Why not? See, I knew it. We'll never have a button. <laughs> we'll never have a button. <laughs> we'll never have a button. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Why can't you add? I have failed you completely. No. If we cannot add a button. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really good to know though because I was failing epically trying myself all alone. So it's good to fail together. <laughs> it's good to fail as a team. <laughs> it, oh, it's not. What's it mad about? My... Oh, it's not liking my nougat package for some reason. Yeah, you see that? Did you Cannot... pick the you picked the right one though, right? Yeah. It's not liking any of my nougat packages here, which is weird. Is Alyssa cursed? Well, I know. I know. Anytime I try to do something in .NET, something funky happens. And I'm like, it's me. Hey. Hi. I'm what the problem is going is on? Me. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's go to Maui. Okay. Do it. Even yeah. Maui, Maui would Dude, not build. Show me a button. Any button. <laughs> I swear to God, if Blazer's the only button we end up getting working, I'm going to throw something. That's going to have his evil yeah, laughter. His little, yeah, he will. It's a superpower. You can break any .NET. <laughs> oh, I boy. have started, I kid you not, for my .NET talks. I have started recording my demos. And I just, like, if I want to do something live, I can. But I, in the slides, have an actual recording of me doing the build or whatever the thing is I'm trying to show off. Because... Yeah, you got to live on the edge. <laughs> uh, other people love from uh, learn from your failures. Oh, 
Oh, that song's everywhere. I know. I know. The TikTok. Well, I was actually in Subway. I freaking don't care what all of you have to say about Subway because I'm in love. And so I was in Subway today because it's Valentine's and I want... Like Metro Subway or Subway though? The sandwich! <laughs> It's Valentine's, and I wanted to feel special, so I made my husband take me to Subway. <laughs> and so we're sitting there, and that song comes on, and I'm, like, jamming with my sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's a cheap date, but all right. Sam, it's my jam right now, all right? You can't take my Subway from me. <laughs> Sounds like mom life to me, yeah. Hardcore, hardcore mom life. <laughs> Imagine this. The villain has created a .NET app to launch the nukes. What do you do? Send in a <laughs> Yeah, I would be definitely be able to stop this from launching. <laughs> You'd all of a sudden get like 12 different warnings you've never seen in your life. Because <laughs> I walked in the door. <laughs> They want their lunch. Oh, listen. We cannot be... Like, what was it they were making fun of us from before, Sam? Oh, MVC. <laughs> no, see, without Ed, I would have kept on trying to run MVC on a Mac, which would be fun, too. Because it, it kept on telling me, hey, .NET Framework, I'm, I don't know how to run this. Well, so what I'm wondering is if it was just because we picked the wrong... Like, like if we picked the wrong package. Like, if we could have still done MVC. No, just the no? runtime. Yeah, the, oh, and my, now in Maui have bills, by the way. Um, MVC runs on .NET Framework, which is not meant to be cross-platform. It's only on Windows. Hmm. I've heard yeah. of these staycations, Fuel. I've heard of these. Have you ever done this, Sam? A staycation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It always feels weird, though, because, like, it's isn't it just called a sleepover? Because, like, you have your own bed. Why would you go to a hotel? Unless this hotel has, like, hella well, good, like, oatmeal in the morning or something. Like, what is the point? <laughs> there are other things you can do, like hourly. We don't want to go there. Wait, hourly? Are you limited in how much lovemaking you can give a woman by the hour? <laughs> wow, you went there straight. Wow. Why are there limits? I'm so confused. There's so much I don't know, Sam. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still. I got 12 minutes to get you a button. Let me get get you a button. Maybe chat can clear up. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> All right, it's a very good for Maui. Here we go. You found it. You got it. Yep. And this time around, it bills. Yay, except. Hot pool. You mean a hot tub? Why is the pool hot? And why is the T in your next capitalized? This is a very confusing sentence. <laughs> All right. We are good to go here. Are we? No. We need to. No, no, no. Hold on. We need to. <sighs> see, I've seen those before. Telerik rad button. So those are. I thought that was what we would see when we saw Xamarin. Yeah. That right there. Yeah, we will. No, because when we did Xamarin, we saw the weird helper stuff with that CSH. That was MVC. That, that's a oh, tag helper. Oh, that was MVC. Okay. Mm -hmm. All question. right. Let's go to main page XAML. This is where our stuff is rendering, right? And instead of that hello world thing, um, we want to put in our, our button. Okay. There's the namespace. goes in there. Now let's grab the button. Mm. All right. Now... Maybe it's because we didn't put in a namespace in the other apps. No, no, it was different. Uh... We don't need that. We don't need a clicked even handler for now. It, you think it'll like compile with that one? Yeah, I took it out, so it should be fine. All right, so now it knows what Telerik namespace means, which is coming from that namespace. And I'm just asking for a button called click me. And I thought we needed to do the use Telerik thing here, which I will oh. scrap. It's an extension method. Your so, mom's an extension method? What? 
<laughs> that is a joke you don't want to explain. <laughs> All right, here's to There you go. Oh, good. I was like, is he not going to line it up? <laughs> All right, can this build? <laughs> Build. Oh my god, if it doesn't, I it, it really is me. I am the problem. <laughs> I will leave the stream and it will build. <laughs> yeah, I'll just too many dependencies, too many platforms, too many things that are you know variables. Hmm. Well, thanks, Jetru, for hanging out with this tra absolute train wreck. I mean, you asked for <laughs> chaos fuel snabble, like we cannot render a button clearly. <laughs> For an hour. But you know what? I learned a lot about how to get dependencies into your .NET apps. So, because before I was very, I was assuming it was like, go to the Nugget website or bust. And I, I see now there's like a lot of different options. Oh, it's easy. It's easy. Just for the most part, just stick with the Nugget package manager. Okay. It gets all the right packages, puts it okay. in the right place and you build. That's it. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. As long as you can reach our Nougat server, because it's based on your credentials, then you're good to go. Now, where the licenses come in, and, and you folks, you know, put this in a license file and so on. If you are taking this project and if you are putting it on like a build server and you're doing like CI CD pipelines and you are in Azure DevOps or, you know, whatever, GitHub Actions, yeah. then those are build scripts. Then you might need like an actual uh... license thing to be, you know, in like a, as a text file. But for the most part, you don't care because if you're you know building it local, once you get to a, that build stage, then you are going to have to. Okay, it builds. It builds. Look at that. Did it? Yeah. How do you how do you know? It, it did say zero errors, eight warnings. Uh, can we go to web with this? Loaded question. <laughs> but there's your button. Do you see that? How how awkward it looks. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Wait, there's your what? button. What? Can you click it? You... Yeah, you can click it. It doesn't do uh, anything. It doesn't have a yeah, clicking yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you mean loaded question? Because it's multi-platform. Can we go to the web? No, you cannot. Dot and Maui is not meant for the web. You can go to iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, all native device platforms. <laughs> you cannot reach the web with a Mac. You can bring the web to desktop and mobile devices if you want. But if you want to go to the web, go do Blazor or do WebAssembly. Hi, Loka. Um, so is that what Blowy, Blowy, is that what Maui Blazor hybrid apps are for? Yes, it's to bring in Blazor into native apps, not the other way around. Because we because tried... we don't want to go. <laughs> we no, don't we don't want to go. We do, but not the way you're suggesting. Okay. Um, because we had this wonderful thing called... What? Oh my God, Silverlight. Yes, um, which keeps on dying many times over it's finally dead but we tried doing xaml on the web and that did not uh it worked fine the dev experience was fine oh until steve jobs came out with the ipad and wrote an open letter to say flash sucks and it did for a good reason and along with it went all of the plugins um so you can do web assembly uh, if you want to do c sharp on the web go do web assembly through f sharp c sharp laser whatever is your thing but not .NET Maui. .NET Maui is meant for native apps. Native apps. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So there's your button. Uh, now this looks very ugly. <laughs> so obviously you want to make it better. Oh, right, so, right, 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 right. Uh, so that's when you can, uh, let me show you where we left off because it can look so much nicer. And let's go to docs. Uh, you want to make your button look real fancy by, you know, having uh corner radius or uh, an image uh, you can do all of that controlling uh, the width you know things yeah, like that, all of that. <laughs> and styling it can look like however you oh want it's a, my it's a, god uh, yes yeah, look at that when you want no shut up look at that when you i button did you see that it, button that was it, it, so oh my god everything i've ever wanted i'm not kidding you i'm using is that like serious? i can get that how do we get it, that <laughs> it's just a shadow and a uh border on it it and it's, it's everything we've ever wanted from the web. And when, when you when you rendered this .NET Maui app on Windows, it is actually rendering a WinUI button for you because uh, that's the native Windows stack. So you can make the button look like however you want, uh, but okay. that's just okay. just a native button. So 
here's your uh, button on a screen just to get started. But to wrap things up, everything pretty much that we do is up on uh, Tilary.com. So that, that's all of our web UI, uh, mobile UI, desktop UI. One of the easiest ways is to you know log in and see all of your uh, downloads right here where you can run um, you know the actual uh, installer packages that's going to give you the binaries and the examples and you know everything else that you need okay. or you can go to uh, your individual projects get the nuget packages and get set up that way uh, and then if you want extra help uh, tooling wise you want some project scaffolding help those are visual studio extensions the installers will get you the extensions but if you want you can also get the extensions uh, separately and you said that I should next month be able to do Windows on Parallels with my Mac. You said, yes, and it works yes. like starting, soonish. Starting end of, end of this month, yes. Okay, cool. Do you think I need to like uh, <clears throat> wipe everything that I've tried to do so far? Like, is it going to be weird, or do you think it'll just offer me an update? No, it'll offer you an update. Okay, okay, yeah. yay! Well, thank you so much, Sam, yeah. for showing me this. I'm actually going to go right now and try to get plugged like it working through visual studio because that's the route i really want to take so we'll see we'll see if i can we'll see if i can do it thank you sam you are amazing <laughs> thank you thank you you're amazing bye everybody right. bye. <laughs>